Hello there, I'm in Bromsgrove. Uh, I'm back here at the elite venue for a, another record fair. And this time I've created a new thing. So I have now got what I'm gonna call, I don't even know what I'm gonna call it. I created this thing where I can stick my phone on and I can look at records and at the same time you can see me searching for the record so this time you're going to be able to see me having a good um quest right so what we get we're going to call it the vinyl quest camp there we go i've come up with a name yeah so today i'm going to be using the vinyl quest camp so we're going to go in now have a look around and then we'll do some record buying so next time i see you i'll be in the venue so here we are at the uh, Midlands Record Fairs. If you want to find more about these record fairs, you can go to midlandsrecordfairs.co.uk. So let's go in and have a look around, shall we? And I'm here with the progmeister himself, <laughs> Steve Gord. How you doing? So, have you found anything good yet? Uh, I found a few, but I've already got them. Oh. <laughs> I've um, I've I've created this thing called the Vinyl Quest Cam. Have you? That's what I've decided to call it. The Vinyl, Vinyl Quest Cam. Yeah. Okay. And God, do we have to tell people what we're looking for, and then all of a sudden well, magically I don't appears. know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to squeeze in somewhere, aren't I? You are, yeah. Alright, let's have a go. I'm gonna have a go with this final first and see what we get. <laughs> and then when, once we're all done, we will sit outside with a nice and we'll, cup of tea. We'll go to our bounty. And we go through the bounty, that's yeah. the best bit, isn't yeah, it? Definitely. So what are you looking for today? Um probably some I'm going more into the jazz fusion. You'll be pleased to know. You know, I've been guided well, by you. Well if you need any advice there. I've been and guided if, by you. So and if I and if I'm getting to the more than in the weeds with the old prog, I'll come and see you so we can help <laughs> each other out. You see we all we work together we on are, this. We're, we're a team. We're, we're a team, yeah. With the and where's Lou? She's in there. Look, she likes, only wants to buy new stuff, you see. Yeah, she likes the she likes the progressive metal, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, she likes the new stuff. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. don't like that, do nah. we? Nah. Nah. There's a lot of people here today. A lot of vinyl, a lot of vinyl hunters, as you can see. A whole host of them. And here's Lou. Are you all right, Lou? I am, yeah. What are you looking for? Just new stuff. New stuff? New stuff. That's the worst stuff. Let's have a look then. All right, when it's on the end, hardly she can get to the back. Can you lot see what I'm looking yeah, for here? You could, you could always get are going for the oh, one, no, can't no, you? And that's a, that's immaculate, that one is. Oh, I don't want that one. Oh, I don't know, actually. Is the production on that I don't like? Best of Santana, are you there? I don't know, ABBA? Oh, I had this album in the old days. <laughs> what a horrible cover. Yeah, they got it. God, I had that, I forgot about that one. Live and heavy. Emerson, I got that one. Like Emerson Lake and Palmer. I have I got the picture disc of that from here. Yeah. The picture disc it was on a, on a record fair day. God, there's not much here, is there? Come on. Where's the prog? Where's the fusion? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit disappointing, so far. Yeah. Oh god, there's but nothing here. Apparently you can always find plenty of moody blues and Bartley Jones Arby's. Yeah. And look what I just found. <laughs> 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 oh, that's not too bad. Hermelis at Montreux. Uh, and if, if I'm looking at that, then it means we, we know it's this. Oh, come on. You think we, we bought it all the last time? Yeah, I think we wiped them out. There's oh. always always here. Yeah, well, that, You'll always find a that used to be the biggest selling album of all time, didn't it? Yeah, at one that's point, one of their best. Yeah, got, we both got it. Yeah, we both got it. I don't know. Well, I think uh, I'm going to wait till oh, I. I, saw I, oh, yeah. I know. I just saw one as well. <laughs> Bloody hell, Kenny Rogers in the first edition. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Let's. What have we actually got here? That's a fusion album. Got me mid middle of the road, but that's a fusion album, quite a rare one. Ronnie Laws, that's pretty good. Who's on here? Oh, looks a bit 80s to me. That's not so good, that Santana album. Nah. No, well, I'm, I'm going to switch off and switch back on when I've got something I've found that's of, of a worth. Right, here's what I've just found Don Ellis live at Montreux. 
which um, let's see who's on this one. I th he obviously, Don Ellis died in 1978, so it's just before he died. I think I might be getting that one. Well, today I'm, I'm finding a lot of borderline albums, which I don't know whether to get it or not. They're all reasonably priced, these. They're all £5 each. Here we have the Clark Duke Project, which I think is early 80s, is it? Let's have a look. Can't see the date on here. Yeah, 1983. And so you know these guys are getting a bit sort of, um, I don't know, a bit 80s fied at this point. But it's a lovely condition. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Stick it back in there, might come back to that in a bit. Ah, oh, there we go. Now that's one I'm gonna be getting. Variations. Andrew Lloyd Webber featuring basically Coliseum 2. Brilliant. Mr. Gould, have you got anything good then? What's in your bag? What's Mr. in your Gould? bag? What's in your bag? Well, let's have a look then. I've gone for something quite contentious. Have you? First one, because if you've never come across these guys before, you have to have good a, old English humour there. Seriously warped sense of humour for that. <laughs> <laughs> we did, I think. Yeah, so that's let's leave there. Yes, oh, if you yeah. want to know who's put the little voice in the background, we'll have a look at yours. Now, in now this next one, I've had on recommendation from Mr. Edwards. <laughs> Viewers, am I right? Five quid, immaculate. Look at that. Yeah. Is that perhaps John McLaughlin's best solo album? Wow. Maybe my, my goals we'll put beyond. that to one side for the moment. Mm. Now, I've got this one, and he said it's not their best. Nah. But I only paid one ninety nine. for it's it. Worth so it's worth one ninety nine. The deal is pretty good. That's the famous <laughs> track on there. Are well, we having our cup of... Uh, a cup of coffee. I'm doing a YouTube video. Do you mind being on YouTube? Yeah, it's fine. What's, your, what's your name? Emma. What sort of music do you like? Oh, I'm pretty flexible. I am like R and B. I like a bit of rock. Give us a band you like. <laughs> um, I grew up to REM. So REM, yes. Yeah, yeah. Do you like REM? Nah. Two large coffees then. <laughs> Thank you very much. Put a jug of milk as well, so you can pop how much milk you're in. Thank you. You are record collectors. Aren't yeah. You? yeah. Come here every, every, every time. Well, I've been to the last two, yeah. You're he not comes more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Now, I've got to, uh, I had to get this one. It's a double live Jimi Hendrix for a fiver. Yeah, I've got that on CD. But it's not as good. It's a good album, that is. Now, for Utopia. But I'll be honest, I've never heard this one. So I thought for a fiver. It's the title that puts you off that one. It's not made wrong. Planet on Earth. Have you got the debut? No. Well, that's the best one, isn't is it? it? Yeah, but, I think uh, so, my, my limited utopia knowledge. I can only play uh, Raw when Lou's not in the house, because you don't like it. You don't like utopia? No. You, said you, wouldn't like that, you wouldn't like what I've got. They are cheesy. This is what Stephen Wilson says on his album years. Does that, he doesn't like, he likes Todd Rundgren, but not utopia. Thinks they're a bit cheesy. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is one because Lou only buys new stuff, right? <laughs> and she had to buy this one. It's a double live album by the Zeppelin. Yeah, not really Normal buy them though, is it? That's a bit of a bootleg, isn't it? You know. Yeah. Bit of a bootleg. They're cool though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I wonder what it sounds, do you know what it sounds like, that I don't one? care, just don't You just don't care. Hand numbered edition. I just, I just wanted it for the collectability of it, really. Well, I've got some Led Zeppelin collectibles I could pass on to you at an extortionate price. <laughs> <laughs> some set lists, handwritten by Robert Plant, you know. One of his socks from down his trousers. <laughs> he doesn't need a sock down his trousers. But then, shall... This is what I have got, right? Now, I promise I won't chop the top of your head off. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. So this is a find. There oh, we go. Gutted, I didn't see that one. Go by Stomo Yamashita. Yamashita. Yeah. And uh, this, as you can see, has got uh, Steve Winwood on. Michael, and Shreve. Michael Shreve. And Klaus Schultz. Klaus Klaus Schultz. Schultz. And I believe Aldi Miello's on. And when I saw this, I went, oh, that's, I think he was on this and Go To. Go To. And, and yeah. Go Live. Yeah. Has this one got Aldi Miello on it? I'm not sure. Well, I'm not sure either, so I'm going to have to find out. It's got an wealth of special guests on it. Yeah, yeah, I think so, but it doesn't say who's on here anyway. So I've got that That's one. Excellent album. Stick that down there. Now, this next one, you've got to have that one. 
Yes. Variations, Andrew Lloyd Webber, everybody and his dogs on that. I had Rod this when Arge, I was a kid. John yeah. Airy, everybody. Well, it's basically Coliseum 2, isn't it, with the addition of Julian Lloyd Webber, and you've got Barbara Thompson, who was uh, yeah. John Heisman's wife at the time. Yeah. And this is classic jazz rock fusion, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, some of the, one of the best British jazz rock fusion and albums. it was the uh, theme tune to the South Bank show. It was. Brilliant. It's a killer album, this is. It is. Five quid, bargain. Now, this one, this one, I didn't know till recently. I was recommended it by um, a viewer, and they said, got to check out this, and I did, and it's incredible. This is basically a solo um, acoustic guitar, almost like improvisation. He does bits and bobs on here. It's a little bit like listening to Keith Jarrett on guitar. Larry Coriel is massively underrated, in my opinion, yeah. and I think um, on here you can really see what an incredible mind he I had. I've never had any of his solos. We had the one with the eleventh house. The eleventh house. Yeah. I mean, that's. The, I mean, this is after the Mavish Doncaster Weather Report returns forever. I think eleventh house of the fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now this one, I'm really chuffed to have gotten. That is. This is basically Larry Coriel again on acoustic guitar but he's teamed up with Oregon. Now, I don't own an Oregon album, and that is something that I've regretted. And I've, I'm, if I saw some Oregon albums today, I would have gotten, but you never see them. But I'm pleased to have this one, because it's basically Oregon. It was a fiver. Yeah, five quid. All these are a fiver, Got total bargain. Absolutely brilliant. Now, this one, uh, Don Ellis, I'm a huge fan of Don Ellis. Of course, you've got the classic albums from the 1960s, like Electric Bath and, you know, and The French Connection. All those albums are absolutely classic. Um, I felt, as the 70s went on, and he made albums like Soaring. Soaring's my favourite Don Ellis album, because it's just that little bit tighter. Now, this one's recorded live just before he died. He died in 1978 of a heart attack. Um, I don't know any of the lineup on here, but I think this will probably be a little bit more tighter and not as psychedelic as Electric Bath. Of course, everyone needs to own a copy of Electric Bath. It's one of the greatest albums ever made, but I'm interested to see what that one sounds like. Now, when I came here, the, I, I've got a list of albums in my head that I want to get, <laughs> and you think, well, I probably won't get them. It's actually happened today. That was one of the albums I wanted. I haven't got a Todd Rundgren album. The closest I've got is the L album by Steve Hillage. Now, this is possibly the greatest American progressive rock album in history. It's, it's absolutely strange and weird. I was introduced to it by John Jowett on a car journey to some gig somewhere. And he said, don't go for Utopia. They're a little bit cheesy. We've just been saying this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They yeah. But Tell this, me that now. I bought the album. Yeah, <laughs> this one is, is just bonkers. It's progressive rock, but not as we know it. It's a completely different way of pushing rock music you out. You can almost tell that by looking at yeah. the cover. So I've actually got a digital version of that, but I've never played it. Have a listen to it. It's, it's very it. strange. Now, this was the one I was most excited about. Didier Lockwood, live at Montreux. And on the back, it says... Um, was he in got, Gong? Didier Lockwood played violin for Magma oh, okay. when he was young. Um, I don't, he could have been in Gong. Like, when it Pierre uh, Moulin's Gong? I, I thought that was Daryl Way. Oh, okay. Um, it's got a quote on the back that I thought was quite funny. It says, after Stefan Grappelli and Jean-Luc Ponty, France now has the third great violin player. I mean, that's like saying, oh, he's, the, he's like, he's the third best. You know, <laughs> you know, but anyway, I thought all oh, this looks interesting. And then I looked at the lineup. Look, it's got Jan Hammer. And it's got Jan Hammer on polyphonic synthesizer. Oh, wow. I don't know what this is. I thought I knew every Jan Hammer recording going. Well, there you go, you see. It's in 1980. It's got Jerry Brown on drums, who's a great drummer, Bob Malak on tenor saxophone, and Bo Steve on bass guitar. There's some guy called Mark Peru on rhythm guitar. But I'm, this is the one I'm most excited about because I love Jan Hammer. And there's a lot of obscure ones I'm trying to get over, like the Elvin Jones ones. There's a few other ones. But this one. I've never even heard of. So I'm sure you lot will now tell me all about it and when he did it and um, <laughs> what sort of trousers he had on when he was recording it and all that bit. But uh, it's it's uh, it's been a it's been a what do you think? It's been a oh, do, wait, 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 where are we going? <laughs> I hope this is us there. So it's it's been a pretty good day, hasn't it all? Not bad. Yeah. yeah. I mean I could have probably spent double. Yeah, 
I'd, I'd limit it myself. I could have spent triple. But you have to be careful. You've got to be you careful. Get carried away. I felt I was a little bit more picky this time because last time yeah, he came, I was just picking up all these prog albums and I've got really obvious ones like, you know, Tarkus and going for the one and things like that. But I was a little bit more picky and I wanted the jazz rock this time. The jazz rock I'm looking for. You're looking for the jazz rock now, aren't you? Yes. And the bloke who owns the... Owns all the guys, he's converted me. That's, it's where it's at. Anyway. I was always into Return to Forever and Weather Report and all that malarkey, but... And he's took me to the next level. I am, I am totally in this progressive rock fan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when I, when I go to play an album, it's always Aldi Miola or Jean-Luc Ponty or... Yes, yeah. that's the way you to worked, go. You worked your wicked ways. That's why I set up the YouTube channel for, really. Anyway, I think we got to the end of the video. So here I am. We're sat in a lovely place. My coffee's going cold, but um, I hope you like this video. If you did like it, put a like on it. If you want to see some more, you can press the subscribe button. Both of those things are free to do. It's not going to hurt you. If you sat there watching it and not pressing the subscribe button, I don't think that's a very nice thing to do. And I think you should look at yourself. <laughs> look at yourself and think, well, you know, why, why haven't I clicked the subscribe button? Why? I mean, does, it's not going to hurt you, is it? Um, if you think what I'm doing is brilliant, then you could become a Patreon. And the link's down below. There's a ton of content on there, all sorts of stuff. I'm probably going to go home now and I'm going to play these records and actually we'll get, and you'll see my reaction to them as I play them. That'll probably go on Patreon or we'll might just have a bacon sandwich. One of the two. And then... Uh, <laughs> you can have a bacon sandwich while you're listening. Oh, that, I'm, I'm, that wouldn't work. All the greasy <laughs> chops while I'm trying to finger, finger me to the Lockwood album. <laughs> And uh, if, you, if you're a busy person and don't want to waste time on frivolities like Patreon but still want to give me some lovely money, you could do that by putting some money in my PayPal tip jar. We're at the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll just, we'll finish off on these lovely surroundings. Uh... <laughs>